more wealthier than myself. I need those types of people in my life all around because when something happens, they're always going to be there for you. So they always talk about that theory of crabs in the barrel. Don't believe that I We don't, just don't believe in that. Uh, put your faith in our people. Realize that it's not such a thing about racism. It's not such a thing about police brutality. What it is about is me and you getting our money and putting it together and making it happen for us. So uh, that, that young man, Dr. Anderson, is something else. And like I said, he talks about real estate. He talks about everything. And the things he's talking about uh, can be done very easily. It's not, I mean, the nine to fives that we're working usually take up our and consume our time to where we cannot go outside the box. So I was fortunate as a jet mechanic that the Naval Department decided to, uh, Department of Defense decided to let us go, but I could have transferred all around the country, Oceania, all these other places I could have gone. But I took it as an opportunity to uh, kind of start something on my own. And we did, and that was 20, 20 years ago and I haven't looked back. And it's my people, it's people of color, melanated people who have put my daughter through college, who have paid my house payment to make sure I had a place to live, have kept me in running cars as raggedy as they were. But it's my people, our people, us, who made us successful, who kept me out of, from working, building fighter aircraft to kill people of color. So, you know, that, that says a lot about our people. So I hear all the stories like, yeah, man, you know, we're just not ready for nothing. We, you know, we, we, we're violent, we're this, we're that. I know what we are. We're the greatest race that ever walked this planet. And if we only knew it, we could make a huge difference. So uh, I travel back and forth to Africa, mainly West Africa, East Africa sometimes. But what I've seen over there is amazing. The minute I step off my aircraft, those guys and girls are grabbing me, saying, I want to take care of you. I want to show you our culture. So you guys don't believe the hype as well about Africans and African Americans. Surely we have some Africans in this country who I don't care to deal with. We have some <laughs> Europeans in this country who I would not deal with. We have all sorts of people in this world, but the majority of the people in Africa are crying to bring us home. They want us back home. I'm acquiring land in Africa to build some type of welcome center to bring all people to Africa who want to come, who, who don't feel at home about coming to a foreign country. Uh, I want to greet you at the airport and take you around the country and let you see what it's all about. But don't believe the hype about us and not getting along with Africans and African Americans not getting along. They love us. They fight over who's cooking for me. They won't let me stay in hotels. I can get a hotel for like $25 with a swimming pool and I can go swimming and exercise. They'd be like, no, you're not staying in a hotel. You, you got to stay with us. One lady I was traveling throughout Africa, she said, leave your bag here. I said, but I need my bag. She said, but you're not going to come back. But if your bag is here, I'm assured that you'll be back. And sure enough, I left one of my bags there and I had to come back and see them. But that's how important it is for them to connect with us. So don't believe the hype. Everything we need, we have. We have the doctors, we have the lawyers, we have the spiritual leaders. We have everything to withstand. People talk about um, integration and segregation, all right? They say we lost it once we integrated. And I vow that I, I just know that we didn't lose it. Integration brought on the infrastructure that is necessary for us to build our own. So we had to go in with those guys, learn what it is they're doing, and now we're pulling out. All of us are pulling out and say, well, I worked at bb t for 25 years. I can go in my community and do this. So this is what's happening all across the country. So just stand back or participate. Stand in and participate and watch our people rise to the type of prominence that they're supposed to be. Um, that we've just forgotten about and can't see. Uh, I think Mr. Anderson is walking through the door right now. So let's give a big applause for Mr. David, Dr. David Anderson.